Het is hem gelukt, die file man. Is die naar Zwolle gereden, een concertje meegepikt en een super vet interview. Een paar cd'tjes meegekregen, handtekeningen erop. Ik zou zeggen, ga lekker zitten en we gaan kijken. Hier is Tiedemond samen met Jimmy Needham. We zijn hier bij de WZRV Hallen in Zwolle. Mastermind for You heeft vanavond een concert hier georganiseerd van Jimmy Needham. En wij hebben van G-Time TV een exclusief interview met deze jongen. Het is alsof ik hem al heel lang ken. Ik ga met hem praten over zijn album Clear the Stage. Over zijn leven, waarom hij bepaalde tracks heeft gekozen. En gewoon ook over wat er het afgelopen jaar allemaal is gebeurd. Dus blijf kijken naar G-Time TV. Always looking for the light of night To dim my house and make the stages bright Compared to you, I'm just a nightlight Against the blazing sun So Jimmy, great to finally meet you. Yeah, man. Man. good to meet you too, man. So I'm so glad that you could take the time out to come over here and we've talked a few times but finally live in action. That's right. Absolutely. Great, great. So I got I got something for you. Wait. All right. Uh oh. Oh like English licorice? And I've got like strobe waffles. Strobe waffles. I love these things. I hate these things. <laughs> but I love these things. This is great. Do you know any Dutch words already? I do. Um here we go. Hallo. Dank je wel. Stroopwafel. That's it. That's, that's it. it. That's, that's good. It. That's, that's a start. It. You yeah, have to start, start somewhere. Yeah, and, and that's where I start. And, and it's great. And it's great. <laughs> so, um, tonight, you got a concert over here in the back. That's right. So, what do you want people to take home from a concert with Jimmy Needham? Well, you know, tonight, is we're, we're going to have a lot of fun. I mean, it's... Um, This is this is what I love to do. My agenda is just to promote Jesus, uh, to make him famous, and um, and so to that end, you know, I I have crafted my songs and my set to to address those things. So I'm I'm hoping that uh, folks will have an ear to listen to um, some challenges and some encouragement and, and things like that. So uh, overall, it's going to be it's going to be a fun night. It's going to be a mix of a lot of different things. Let's get to the music you're making. You, your album cleared the stage. It was nine on the Billboard chart. Mm -hmm. I know you you don't don't um, love to talk about sales and everything, mm -hmm. but what did it do to you when you heard that it was number nine on the Billboard chart? Yeah. You know, I, I really I really don't try. I try to stay away from from knowing most of that stuff because uh, I know most of the time it either makes me you know too puffed up or or if it's not high enough I feel bad. So, um, uh, but you know. The fact that I've been doing this for seven years and that God has honored it and that I can still pay my bills and all that, I mean, that's, I'm grateful. So the album Clear the Stage, what's the main message of the album? Uh, you know, this album really is, it's a personal one that, that um, uh, for me, um, it's really talking about all of those things that I have sort of put in center stage, center focus uh, in my life that has taken the place of where Jesus belongs. And we all do it, don't we? I, I, am, I am such a good addict. I, I struggle with so many sins and, 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 and have wrestled in my life with so many issues. Um, since the age of nine, I was a pornography addict. Around that same time I started putting on weight, I ended up weighing 260 pounds. I don't know what that is in your metric system, but I'll tell you what, I was big. I, I loved food and I was a glutton. <clears throat> I had so many things that I was sinning against God with, but do you know what those really were? It was me saying to God, you can't satisfy me So I'll find something else. That's what sin is. You can't fill this heart. I'm hungry, but I think it's for that. 
so y you guys got lively that that's the name of your daughter but yeah. before lively you lost one or two children yeah um, three. three yeah how did she deal with that it was hard uh, I mean so many uh, folks have gone through miscarriages and and lost babies and and so I know they can relate but it's just a hard it's a hard thing to lose a child that you thought God was giving you to raise and and so you know for me as as the husband you, you always want to fix things you know and I couldn't fix this and uh, and so I, I I sat down and I wrote a song because that's usually what I what I do when I'm processing and I wrote a song for my wife Kelly to just encourage her that you know there's really nothing that I can do to help you to fix the situation to undo what has been done but my my the song is called in the middle and it's a promise to her that even though I can't do anything about it I'm, I'm going to be there with you in the middle of this situation um, to, to comfort you to, to be your shoulder to cry on and and, and honestly that's exactly what uh, what God promises us too that even in the midst of suffering and sorrow that God always comes in he is always near uh, to the broken heart Um, and to his people he cares about us and uh, so it, it was sort of my, my offering to her and uh, it, uh, it's a, an important song on the record for me you well, guys are pregnant again congratulations it's, thanks man it's a miracle it is um, how do you experience this pregnancy that's a good question um, you know I think for us we just try to um, Now, after all the the losses that we've we've had, we try to hold every pr pregnancy with an open hand, you know, to to just say, um, just like Job said, the Lord gives, the Lord takes away. May the name of the Lord be praised. We're having to learn that uh, it's His decision, and we're just going to hold each child like this. But isn't that hard? Of course, it's hard. Yeah, it's yeah. very hard. Because you say it, but yeah, film. well. At the end of the day, you ha the only way you could do that is you have to absolutely believe that God has your best in mind. Um, and that's a, also a hard thing to believe, but he's been so faithful in every moment of our lives uh, to, to do the thing that most ultimately benefits us, um, to know him more and to be more like him. So we just trust his character. And, uh, and you know what, if, if, and God forbid, but if we lose this baby, uh, of course it'll break our hearts, but, but we also at the end of the day know that our God is in control and that this hasn't slipped through the cracks of his sovereignty, that he knows exactly what's happening and, and he purposes all things for the good of those who love him, who are called according to his purpose. Well, Jimmy, thanks very much yeah. that, that you took the time out just to talk to us. A great meeting you in person. Absolutely. God bless you with your ministry, with your concert tonight. Thank you, brother. And we'll be talking. All right, man. Yeah? Thanks, thanks, brother. Appreciate it.